What is up everybody? Lucas Parsons and Ryder Parsons with LGS Outdoors. We're going to give you a little ice and fishing update here at the Fairmont Chain of Lakes. Uh, it's been a pretty uh, crappy weather as far as that goes. It's been really cold but that's okay because the cold has made the ice we need. Uh, I've measured spots that are a foot. I found spots that are 10. I found some that are 9. So like I said you know, nine inches average is what I got on Bud Lake. And then out on Hall Lake, I kind of seen some of the same things also, you know, nine inches, kind of the average. Uh, it's been, it's been uh, fun getting out there. Finally been able to get around. We got our machines out, had our side-by-side -side out. That's great to be able to do that. But uh, that uh, is kind of Hall Lake. And then we were on Sisseton as well. Sisseton is the same, you know, about the same, even where the open water was, I think the open water Spot, you know all froze over now but I think it's got more ice on it than uh, the rest of the lake does so that's good uh, good to see a little bit of snow on the lake as you can see winds blowing here out on uh, Bud Lake but uh, definitely been seeing good schools of fish these yellows are schooled up uh, people have been catching other fish as well crappie been biting getting some bluegills uh, I don't know much about the walleye bite. Uh, people are probably not going to talk about that much if they're getting any, but uh, you know, definitely panfish bite is going well. I've seen a lot of nice crappies coming out of here. A lot of good gills, a lot of things like that. The yellows, you know, the size of these yellows, it's been good to see. I mean, we've been seeing them nine inches, eight inches. Uh, hasn't really been much of a variation. I mean, we've caught a few that were under five inches, but it's been five inches or eight to nine. So that's been good to see. Uh, it's been kind of tough. I'm not going to say it's been the easiest bite ever. I mean, they are not flying out of the hole like you're used to, but this weather's had a lot to do with that, so don't get frustrated. Uh, it's going to change here this week. The weather's going to really come together and uh, warm up a bit. Uh, going to be in the almost the 30s tomorrow. Wind's not going to blow gale force like it has the last couple days. Uh, it's been brutal today. Uh, it was a little rough out there guiding today, but uh, we got the clients on to fish and uh, had a good day. Uh, had uh, clients out Saturday and Sunday, and uh, we ended up uh, getting a day and a half. We ended up over 300 fish, so that's not bad. Like I said, it's been been a tough bite. I know you hear that number, and you're like, oh, that's a tough bite. Well, it's been a little slower. You know, you're not catching them one after the other. Uh, you'll pick them off. You'll have to bounce around, find them. But, you know, we've been catching them on plastics. We've been catching them on spoons with no bait. I've uh, been catching them on pill keys. Uh, that uh, coffin spoon has been working very well. Uh, you know, tungstens with the plastic, and definitely the pill key with the red spikes has been the way to go with all that. But it's kind of what we're seeing out here on the Fairmont Chains. I know not much to show you. I don't really have to drill you any holes because I've been out on the lake here. I'm, I'm on my fifth day straight guiding, and uh, day six is tomorrow, so it's been kind of fun. Been a great week. I think. Uh, Wednesday we ended up with 71 yellows. Uh, Thursday was tough, real tough bite, but had a couple of kids out here with their grandparents and uh, you know we salvaged 30 fish and just really got them kids to learn a lot, so that was fun. And then uh, Friday had a couple out there and we almost got 100 and maybe have gotten more, but uh, unfortunately we found out that the yellow bass don't like cell phones in the lake. So her cell phone fell down the hole and the school moved away and we couldn't get them to move back underneath of us and the weather was too crappy to you know, move the shack or anything so with the wind blowing we didn't do that so that was kind of kind of funny and crazy but uh, thankfully she had insurance so she got herself a new phone hopefully you got it going today <laughs> and then Saturday and Sunday we had the the uh, hometown heroes group the South Dakota division here had a bunch of veterans out here on the ice and you know we had over 300 fish caught in a day and a half you know seeing a lot of big yellows come out of here good good quality fish good to see been a lot of fun so it's going to be a good year the fishing will get better you know this warm front they said the weather's been all over the place you know just cold windy cold but the cold has been great got the ice we need uh, once again i don't know i always have been drilling still in front of my machine on the ways i'm going but uh, that's kind of the way to go about it so don't think that everything's safe make sure you check her out make sure you check where you're going look at the ice look at the cracks all that good stuff is you know like we say right here, right no ice is safe ice Ryder got himself a big old crappie today. What do you figure? How big was that thing? I think it was pushing, you know, 10 and a half, 11. That one went back swimming. So, uh, you know, that's good to see those babies in this water still. Uh, got some yellow bass. You caught a couple of them. This is the first time we've had him out on the water actually fishing this season. 
So, uh, I don't know, what do you think? Think we can skip school tomorrow? You can go with me? Yeah. I don't know, we won't tell mom. We won't tell mom, right? No, we have to, yeah. but. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's kind of what we got going on. You know, the ice has gotten a lot better. Things are going good. A lot of people out. Once again, the weather's going to turn around and get a lot better. So, you know, put Fairmont, Minnesota on the map. Get out here and pile up some yellows. So, that's what we got. So this has been Lucas Parsons and Ryder Parsons with a quick little uh, fishing and ice report from Fairmont, Minnesota. Thanks for watching. Give us a like, subscribe, comment below. Any more things you want to see. Uh, I don't have, I can't give you much of a baby update other than they're doing good. Uh, talk about that. Uh, Aaron and Hannah, baby was born. They got a healthy baby. That's all I can tell you. I'll let him do the rest when he's back. Uh, we can't wait to have Aaron back, but uh, we're wishing them well. Hang in there, guys. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.